Last thing, last thing. Go. You ready? Three minutes. Might not seem like a long time, but I feel like I could do a lot in three minutes. I could go for a walk, get a coffee. Or I might be on the way to class. Three minutes is actually the average time it takes for a U of T student to find a garbage bin and throw out their garbage. This is really demotivating, and that's why there's so much litter on campus. But just look at this room. After this hackathon, like it's too messy. So we created a basket bin to deal with that problem. So yeah, introducing basket bin. We created this exact product to incentivize people, especially those at campuses, to actually throw out their trash or their recycling in the right area. So come with me right here. So as you can see, there are two holes, one for recycling and one for garbage. This is extremely intuitive to any user. So if I were to throw out some trash, such as this knife, into one of those off the backboard and in just like Kobe, it will land right here. And there are two sensors here that will sense which hole I threw it through. And then there is also a camera right here, which is connected to OpenCV and has object detection. And it will determine whether an object is garbage or recycling and then dispose of it accordingly. So let's move on to Nicholas, who will speak further on this. Okay, so why basket bin, right? We have, well, one, because it's powerful, right? We have this machine right here. It can automatically sort the garbage and the recycling, right, well, rather than manually doing it. Number two, it's gamified, right? When you see this backboard right here, you're going to be like, oh, my God, it's a backboard. I want to shoot a hoop, right, or I want to shoot this uh, piece of trash into these two holes. And number three, obviously, it's educational. So whether or not someone or that student walks around campus and throws it into the right one or not, he's going to learn or she is going to learn that based on these lights, it will tell whether they threw it in the right one. So they'll walk away knowing what to do next time. Mm. So now we are going to have a quick demo. So we have a quick front end right here, all about basket bin. And I'm going to go ahead and sign up. So my name is Derek, and I'm going to make a random password. And there I am on the, the leaderboards. It appears I already have 200 aura, but I'm going to try to get some more so I can secure that number one spot. So let's go ahead and sort some garbage real quick. All right, so the first one we're going to do is a plastic, plastic knife. knife. Where is this going to go? I don't know. Let's let basket bin decide. Ooh, it goes straight into the garbage. All right, next one. Cups. Where are they going to go? Well, let's see. Ooh, you Enjoy. put it into the garbage, but it's it went into the recycling. Recycling, because garbage basket bin automatically corrects us. Are you kidding Last me, one? bro? Chip bag. Well, not many people know where this goes. It's actually the garbage. garbage. Woo, woo, woo. And the light here is green because I got it right. And if we come back here and check the leaderboard, let's update it. Let's see how much let's more see, we let's have. Let's see how much. No way. We still have 200 aura. But that's calm though, because we're tied for first place. You know what that I means right there? Over. It means I'm going to speak on the benefits of basket bin. So firstly, it is fully automated, meaning that no matter where I throw it out, it's going to end up in the right bin. This is very unlike a normal garbage bin. Secondly, it is a cost of only $2 to fix. How can this be possible? Well, it's made out of eco-friendly materials such as cardboard, and it helps the environment along the way, making this an extremely eco-friendly product. Thirdly, it helps to remove 18,000 pounds of litter per year, according to our Harvard studies. And fourthly, it will also be fully accessible for 100% of people due to our easy to read designs. Now next, we will be going on to our research findings. So as we can see here, we have a cost breakdown of our materials. So we can see the cardboard, the motor and microcontroller, the assembly and responsible labor from our source Alibaba, and also sensors and wires. And this all comes out to $20.13. $22.13. Isn't that amazing for such an advanced product? Even if you go to Dollarama right now, you buy a piece of plastic for your garbage, it's $4 already. And just for a small upcharge, you'll be able to stop 
all this litter from being on the floor because of how gamified this is. So let's talk about our future plans. How does this fit into the market today? Well, we're going to have these all over campus for only $22 each, right? And how it's going to work is if you remember the leaderboard we just had, the top three people each month will receive compensation or prizes for being able to have the most aura at the school. So the most sigma of them all will be able to be rewarded for their amazing actions. So thank you so much for being back. with us today. And before I leave you, we want to show you the back. So I'm just gonna yeah, I'll sound like this. All right, so here, so as Darren's see, gonna take you through. In the back, the entire gar the, the entire basket bin is controlled by a single micro microcontroller, the ESP32, and that's how we're able to keep costs so low. And this single microcontroller is connected to the servo, our sensors, and our lights at the top, which indicate whether or not we chose the right bin. And then also, for our camera here, we were just using a phone for the sake of this demo, but we can use any old camera, and it's connected to the microcontroller through serial. So we're running Python on the camera, which has a pre-trained model. So we're going to leave you with Nick Chen to say thank you for um, your attention. Wait, maybe we should check out how much aura you have. Wait, 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 maybe we should. Wait, let's check wait, let's the take table. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, hold on. I, I heard the leaderboard just updated. Whoa! What? Whoa! Derek wins, and guess what he wins? A photo with Nick Chen. Oh my god! My <laughs> Say cheese. Idol. Say cheese. Thank you so much for the photo. Perfect. Too funny, bro. I hope you like basket bin, and... We'll be seeing this in UFT soon. <laughs> <laughs>